What's going on guys, XPhotoX95 here today, I am bringing you some gameplay. We are playing some Domination on the map Dome, and this is episode 3 of the Road to the Mob series, in which I tried to get a mob with every gun in the game. And I had a little debate with one guy, but it was called Mob, as White Boy 72 calls it, or Moab. And I think White Boy might actually be right on this. Like, people make fun of him because he's like, really stupid or something like that. He can't spell. But I think he got this right because, um... If you think about it, you don't call it Road. It's called Road. Right? So it's Mob. Road to the Mob. It would be Road to the Moab, or Road to the Moab. It doesn't make any sense. Um, so... We're going straight down the list here, last episode, and 16. This episode, we're doing the Scar L, and you guys probably already know my feelings on the Scar L, but I'm going to do more of an in-depth analysis on this gun. And this is actually probably my best mode so far, because I go on a really nice, um, close I'm not even sure if it was the... No, it wasn't close. I was just got it there. But, uh, you do... I do cap a few flags, and I... Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I do go on a pretty nice kill streak. Probably my best gun. It actually, it's my best gun streak by like 20 kills <laughs> in this game. Um, you'll see when it happens. So, Scar L, fantastic weapon all around. Great for long range. It has, um, you know, good recoil, great damage, a lot of good stuff. You can be kind of camping the spot a little bit for a while. Um, but it's actually a really good spot, but you can also get killed very, 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 very easily in a spot. Um, but my only problem with the Scar L is its hit time, right? So, even if you have steady aim on, its radius is, for like, the hit, like, hit fire radius is pretty large, as you can see right there. That's with steady aim. Um, that kind of like the HDR without, um, steady aim. Right? Like, the ACR is probably, like, statistically, the best gun in the game. Um, well, I'm not, I'm not completely sure about that, but I would say that it's better than this car. But I like this car better because of its iron sights, and that allows me to use a silencer without using the dot. And right now I'm using the silencer with extended mag. The reason being is when you're playing, um, when I'm playing, I often reload too much, and so I'm trying to veer like steer away from that uh, mentality in which I try to um, basically after t every time I get a kill I reload which is really really dumb uh, and I, I just think that the blood is best and that actually ends up saving me and helping me get the mold so that's important um, what was it? okay so yeah extended bag yeah see right there right there one kill I usually reload but if I run into two three people I like to be able to spray it for a decent amount of time or um, I need it. And right here I picked up this spot from Ninja Redemption. I don't know where he got it, but it's actually really useful. I don't get any kills with it. But it's good to help scout out your enemies. And actually, that line of sight that I was just looking at before, on the left side, is really good. Let me shoot your enemy just so I see people on my <coughs> portal radar. I don't know what... <sighs> oh my god. I heard the stealth bomb right with my right. headset, and I was like, oh, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. And I was like, oh shit, this kid. <laughs> Fucking rape. A bunch of beer with my car UAV and my online. penis, and I just get so mad. I get the, I get the mode pretty soon here. Oh, 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 oh. Getting get point mode. There we go. I actually almost get the double mode here, and if I had died before, I went. I go on the right here. That saved me. And now I go on my like nice kill streak. Um, right here, right here. Oh yeah, ninja piece in right my here. Um, what was I saying? Um, the lead. yeah, I could have gotten a double mode, but, Losing like, I don't know. I, I would have gotten pretty close. I probably wouldn't have gotten to, like, 20-something. And then at the end, I also go on, like, a 15 kill streak, uh, before I get a little, um, Securing a. a little too aggressive, and then I end up dying. Um, so yeah, Scar L, fantastic damage. Fantastic. I just love its reload animation just because of the way Jimmy has done. Some of the guns in this game. What the fuck is a helicopter? Did anybody else see that? What the hell was that? I did not notice that when I was watching the trailer. 
Wow. Um, so yeah, you know it's you guys probably already tell us the kind of order, but yeah, I do go on a 45 kill streak. And that's a 45 gun streak. In total, I think it's like a 47 point streak. Um, so it's been really good. This is actually another really, really good spot right there behind that car. So you can quickly turn around and pick up these guys, and you get those guys responding with a beast flag. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, so, fantastic in real life. Gameplay guy. I can't talk right now. I just ate and I studied for four hours for a biology test. Not going to have to do it now. I died, I died pretty soon here. I don't know what my final score was pretty good. Okay, so I did a little bit, I talked a little bit about the Scar Elf Silencer. It's pretty self explanatory for going for Moabs. The Moabs. Fuck, why did I see more? Damn it! Okay, so going for Moabs Silencer is pretty standard, so you don't want to give away your position if you're going on a high test group. And then extended mags, I just wanted to be able to get like multiple sprays without the loading, which is really useful, especially on Dome. Don't you end up finding a lot of people in one line of sight? So look at me tapping flags on a 40 kill streak. Look at that. I'm growing, I'm growing, I'm maturing guys. So extended magic helps you kill multiple enemies. And Scar is just an overall fantastic weapon. I don't think I gave a rating for the M16. Um, but I would say the M16 in terms of difficulty is probably a 4 or a 3. Just because it's not a very good weapon in this game. What's the game code? What's that? Oh, that guy's in here. Oh, where the... Oh, I should have gotten this guy. I don't know how I didn't... My bullets were on his penis. Was it penis? That's supposed to be the most sensitive part. I don't even know why a headshot is a critical hit. You dick. That would make this game much more interesting. I would have so many big shots. Because it's all I went for. Oh my god, this kind of really didn't take that. Uh... Okay, um, Dome. Probably the best map for competitive game types of domination, but it can get sometimes really, really hectic. Oh my god, how did I? Oh my god, I don't know that. Yeah, it, it gets pretty hectic on this map. I don't really know why. Like, I don't understand this map sometimes because the spawns are just retarded and they spawn next to people half the time. Um, but, nonetheless, it is a very good game type of drop zone and domination and even, ser even search and destroy is pretty fun on this because it's pretty bad, but it's still really exciting to, uh, okay, play. Like it's fast paced, search and destroy, but it's still pretty fun. Um, you probably saw this in the MP9, it's pretty awesome, it's also another self explanatory decision. It's basically an SMG, so it's basically like having overkill, it's better than most of the SMGs in this game. Uh, it's basically like a mini MP7. The game's winding down here, please thumbs up the video, again this is, uh, episode 3 of the Road to the Mode. Oh, I didn't even give a rating for the Scar L. The Scar L is easily, uh, a 10. Easiest fucking gun to get a mode with. Like, like, a 1 is like, so fucking easy, a caveman with three penises, and the Kraken, his dick in his ass, holding him back while he's trying to get a move, that's like a 1, right, that's like the big easy hard, a 10 is just like, fucking, I could use my nuts, only use my nuts back, and I could get a move with this gun, and that's what the Scar L is. I don't know why it took me so long to get a move with this gun. I think it's because I was getting overly aggressive and like there's certain times when you go on like a third streak and you just can't play well. And then you go on a tear, like um, <clears throat> I remember I got three consecutive moves in three consecutive days. Like a move every day. And then I just went on the drop for a couple days. Um, but yeah, the scar is really easy. If you haven't used this gun, which I don't know how you haven't, but if you haven't used this gun yet, uh, in my old victory, please do so. The biggest problem I had with this gun in Mono for 2 was the clip gun, right? It only had 20 bullets as opposed to 30, and it probably did the exact same damage. So, they made this gun even better than it was. It started with probably one of the most used guns in Mono for 2, and now it's even more used in this game. Because it's, just, it's probably the best. Oh, it's arguably the best gun in the game. Fucking up. Damn it. 
Um, yeah, it's arguably the best gun in the game. Like, there are a few uh, weapons in this game that match up to it from long range because the burst fire on it is so accurate and the recoil is so low. Um, I don't know. After I get a mob, I tend to like run around like a leaf hard just because I can't really concentrate so hard and I couldn't maintain my level of concentration so I just go and I just run out blindly. But if I still get a pretty great score, um, if I kept my rate up I would have gotten 100 kills on full death. Because I think at 100 domination points, I was at um, 90, 49 and 2. Yeah, so please thumbs up the video, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And again, thank you for 100 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And peace, guys. Post more videos. Doing some great. See ya.